the choices that you make, the types of food that you eat, right? All of this is determined for you by the government. When the government violently kicks down your door and comes onto your property with guns drawn, trying to get you to stop a certain behavior that's harming nobody else, that is a social injustice. The uh, raw milk raids in America were a violation of individual liberty. People think that we live in a free market society and we don't. We have cronyism, we don't have capitalism in the United States. There is little done by the federal government that is not influenced by a choice to favor one special interest over another. There's this merger of what would appear to be private enterprise and government. The corporations, the multinationals, have taken over. The banks got in trouble. They bring out Henry Paulson, the U.S. Treasury Secretary, former CEO of the Goldman Sachs gang, and says we have to bail out the banks. They're too big to fail. Isn't it fascinating that the very entity that gave us mad cow, that gave us cloning, that gave us GMOs, they are the ones that we say, I want to put my faith in you for my food. 106,000 people every year in the United States are killed by FDA-approved pharmaceutical drugs. There are 800,000 people a year arrested in the United States on marijuana charges. So over a 40-year period now, that's 27 million people who have been effectively screwed by the government. People are getting put in jail in the U.S. all the time for nothing, victimless crimes. The idea that government should make our choices for us is one that a lot of people prefer. But there's nothing more profound for an individual than when they are denied something they very much need because they made a decision earlier on to part with their freedom. The politicians think that, hey, it's important that we all vote. They can trust us to vote, but they can't trust us to make these basic decisions about whether we should buy a house or whether we should rent their house or should we use this broker or that broker or should I put on my seatbelt or should I wear a helmet or should I smoke cigarettes or, you know, all these choices need to be made by the government, but somehow we're smart enough to vote, but we're, we're too dumb to do just about anything else.